Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to the Packer Franchise Podcast, and today's going to be a little bit of a different kind of podcast, as news broke out earlier that Josh Rosen was, you know, is available for trade, and before you, you know, get typing in the comments saying, like, oh, this is such a stupid podcast, why am I going to bother listening to this? I just want to give you guys my two cents on why I think having Josh Rosen to back up Aaron Rodgers Green Bay makes sense. Now, obviously, the heirs of the corner is going to be shopping, or not shopping, but going to be getting Kyler Murray as the number one overall pick. So that's why they're going to trade Josh Rosen. It makes sense for Josh Rosen to go to Green Bay because Josh Rosen and Aaron Rodgers are good friends. Good's not even a word. They're, they're like really close to each other. I saw in the videos that they posted last year before you know draft night. Aaron Rodgers telling Josh Rosen like how to be a better quarterback. You know, Josh learned from Aaron Rodgers. And it just like you look at that image and it's like, you know, it's bound for Josh Rosen back of Aaron Rodgers. And I'm gonna show you his stats real quick from his rookie season, Josh Rosen. I mean not the best stats, obviously, twenty two hundred yards, fifty five percent completion, eleven touchdowns, fourteen picks. But Josh Rosen really have much, you know, playmakers around him besides Larry Fitzgerald and yeah, I guess you could say David Johnson, but he hasn't really done much for Arizona in recent years. And also look at the quarterbacks he learned from. Blaine Gabbert, obviously. I think Drew Stan's still there, I believe. I'm not sure, so apologize for that. But if Josh Rosen can learn from a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers or something, because who you know, like learning from a quarterback like that can really impact your career. I mean, look at Aaron learn off of Brett Favre. Would Aaron Rodgers be Aaron Rodgers if he had learned off Brett Favre? Who knows? Would Aaron Rodgers be Aaron Rodgers if he went to San Francisco? Who knows? It just all really depends. Another reason it makes sense, you know, the back of quarterback role. I said in my podcast last month, we need a veteran back of quarterback. And I know Josh is not really a veteran back of quarterback, but hey. I think he's better than what the ones we got now. I th- he's better than Sean Kaiser. I can't really say anything about Tim Bowe because we haven't really seen him play much, which I wish he did play much. But that is what it is. Matt Flynn and Brett Hundley were the two most reliable backup quarterbacks since Aaron Rodgers back to Brett Favre. You look at the Eagles with, you know, Nick Foles, and you look at the Patriots with Jimmy Garoppolo. The list goes on and on. You look at the Steelers with Charlie Bash back in 2010. Where I think they went 3-1. and one. You need a great back of quarterback to be successful in the league. Because if Aaron goes down in big games, and Josh Rosen can help win a couple games, then that can really change the team momentum. Now I'm gonna, you know, show you Josh Rosen highlights, which these highlights were provided by Redskins Run 21 and also the NFL. I do not own these videos. They're obviously made by the NFL and Redskins Run, so check them out. Uh, Links to their channel will be in the description below. Basically, you see Josh Rosen highlights, you know, throwing a dart to Larry Fitzgerald for the touchdown. Me personally, I like this further here, throwing over the top to David Johnson. He threw over Deion Jones. And, you know, Josh can throw a ball really well. I mean, I know his stats will say much, but, like, you give Josh time, he can be a good quarterback. He's not going to be great like Aaron Rodgers, obviously, but he can at least give you a shot to win games. Yeah, so. And now, overall, if the Green Bay Packers were to try out for Josh Rosen, me personally, I wouldn't trade more than a third round pick. I feel like first, excuse me, first and second. Obviously, you get that out of the way. Don't do that. But third round pick, it, I can be leaning towards you know picking up Josh Rosen, or maybe trading a player that we don't really use much for Green Bay. 
But basically, that's pretty much it for the Josh Rosen podcast. I mean, I know people are, now before I end the video, I know I know people are gonna, not gonna like this podcast. One, obviously, talking about Josh Rosen, you know, training the, for backup Aaron Rodgers. This is not gonna happen. It's just a theory, and also it gives me something to do. Make a video until free agency comes out. Which I will have a lot more content for you guys once free agency hits. Uh, there will be a live stream also Friday night on YouTube. I know I said Twitch on my Packer page on Instagram, but I'm gonna do you I'm gonna do YouTube now because I feel like it'll be easier for people to access on YouTube. So just go to my page. We're gonna be doing a Kahoot live stream and also um, free agency live stream will begin 6 p.m. Eastern, March 14th. So yeah, pretty much. But um, thanks to NFL and Redskins Run, obviously for you know the highlights that I provided in the video. And like I said, if you want to talk about this, just leave a comment down below. Don't you know leave a hate, hate comments or you know whatever. It's just a theory. This is not going to happen 100. percent It's just something that you know you can keep in mind. All right. So alrighty guys, thank you for watching the podcast like always. I love you guys so much, which before I do it, and then uh thank you guys so much for the support on Leonard Collins video. That video just like all of a sudden blew up. Like I wasn't expecting that many people to watch my Leonard Collins video. So honestly guys, thank you so much for all the love and support you guys have been showing that video and you tell my videos honestly, it really means a lot for someone trying to get into the podcast community and also trying to debate about sports and all that stuff. But alrighty guys, I'll talk to you guys later. And I might have another podcast coming out. It depends like if we're gonna release anybody like Clay Matthews or Rental Cobb. So if more news comes out for Green Bay I'll make a podcast about it. But for now, thank you guys so much. Thank you for you know watching and listening to the podcast. Love you guys. See ya.